Now we're going to move in and discuss EDI architecture and communication methods. Let's re-examine the My Company and Trading Partner at this time, focusing on what they have in common. Both have a communication tab when designing the trading partner process. One communication setting will take precedence, depending on the type of architecture you deploy. It is important to understand what EDI architecture type you need. To do this, you need to ask yourself the following questions. Does your company use a van, mailbox, or a centralized storage for all EDI transactions? For anyone who does not know what a van is, it is a value-added network, which is a hosted service offering which acts as an intermediary between business partners sharing standards-based or proprietary data via business processes. So does your company use a van? Would you like to use a single process to schedule data retrieval for multiple partners? Do you need Boomi to auto-generate acknowledgements to send back to your trading partners? Well, if the answer is yes, then you should consider a centralized architecture. For centralized processing, you can define multiple trading partners within a single start shape or trading partner shape as long as each partner supports the same communication method. And in the My Company component, you can define the default communication details for receiving and sending any trading partner. This process will sort the transactions based on the envelope details. In the trading partner components, you should check Use All Defaults to defer the connectivity details paired with the My Company component. If you need to route documents to different maps or child processes, you can use document property parameters to confirm the, send, the sender information. However, in our scenario, we are going to be building out a decentralized process to support the retrieval of our Walgoods 850 data. Since the default checkboxes are not checked, the communications will take precedence in the trading partner and the My Company communication information is ignored. So I'm going to demonstrate exercise number 12 to define a communication method and enable the process. To find the communication method and enable the process. We're going to click on Add Communication Method. We're going to select FTP and click on the OK button. It will ask us if we want to use all default settings. We do not. We're going to configure specific settings. Under the Settings section, we're going to use the default settings. We want that to be checked on. However, the Get and the Send options, we want to uncheck those. Now, one thing you need to be aware is we are working with FTP, so everything is going to be spelling and case sensitive. For our remote directory, to get our records for the remote directory, it's going to be called Inbound. And our file filter is going to be called 850. EDI for boomi.edi. This can be this is going to be a type binary, uh, maximum files to read. We're going to take everything out there. It's the only thing in the directory. For our output, we're going to be writing to a directory known as out. And we're going to click on close. At this point, we're going to click on save and close. We want to go back into our start shape. So we're going to select our trading partner. Our trading partner is Walgets. Once we select it, it will populate that list and we'll click on the OK button. So what we want to do now is drop and drag a trading partner over. So we can just come up here and type in TR and it'll bring a trading partner up for us. We'll just drop and drag it over. Our communication method is going to be FTP. Our standards are going to be X12. My company is, of course, Boomi. We click on OK. And next, what we want to do is click on Walgets as the trading partner. At 
this point in time, we click on OK. We're going to hook this up, and then we're going to click on Save and Close. Now it's your turn to do exercise number 12 to define the communication method and enable the process. This is in your book on page 40 to 44. When we get back, we're going to interpret the trading partner data.